Hey guys, it's Sonia. Let's hang out. Oh, I think there was, is that a firefly coming to hang out with us? It is, let's see, it's Tuesday night. It's late. I don't know. Maybe it's around 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. And I'm out here in the garage. I'm going to work on a project. I really need a creative outlet. I've been behind my computer all day working on some just exciting things with our business as we grow. And we're getting ready to um, relaunch our retailer program. So if you're somebody out there who's been wondering about retailing our paints, and I told you I've been working on it. Honestly, I have. And uh, today will be the day that I will get it finished before I go to bed. But I need a bit of a break. I need to do some paint, painting, paint time. And so this is a mirror. Do you guys remember when I was down the Salvation Army? Man, there's some loud cars on these streets. Do you hear that? I'm sure you hear a lot of weird noises because we also live um, in an area that is known as a limited business district. So behind us, there's lots of manufacturing going on. And sometimes you hear weird noises that make you run to the back of the house and look out the windows down the street wondering what the heck that, you know, loud noise was. Um, so, and I also have the garage door open. So I am a beacon in the night for all the bugs out there, but huh, they can come in. I really just want to listen to, you know, just, just listen to the outside sounds tonight and do a little painting. So this is the mirror that we got, um, down in the Florida Keys. I picked this up as a souvenir, brought it home and I thought it would fit my house really nice, but I do want to change it up because you know, it's nice as it is, but when I do see all these, um, you know, designs that I know that I could really make things pop. So I'm going to do it with some Liberty Blue tonight. And this mirror I have in my mind to put it above a long sofa table that I recently painted. I painted it live on Facebook. I'll pop it in here so I can bring you up to speed with that. Because you're going to need to know that as I work on that blue table this week um, here on my YouTube channel, that this mirror, this mirror, I'm working to make it work in unison with it. So let me pop it up for you real quick right here. So Liberty Blue, and I'm going to grab a shabby chip brush, just one of my old brushes I have kicking around. This is the hard bristle brush, which means that um, it doesn't pick up a whole lot of paint. And do you hear that? Yeah, it, it's not soft and flowy. So what happens is when you put your paint down, um, it doesn't give complete coverage and you have some peekaboos, which I'm okay with some of this coming through the existing color because I feel like it would just make it look antiqued. But this is my favorite part. First brush strokes. Oh, look at that. You really do not need a lot of paint when you dry brush. And it can be done quite quickly. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Oh my gosh. I love that. So yeah, the trick is not to like keep overloading your brush. But if you have stuff on your wall right now, like, you know, things that you've had forever that you're tired of looking at. And you just want to change do a little dry brushing, candle holders, picture frames, you know, lamp bases, pretty much anything that you can get your hands on. Oh, that is so nice. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, I'm gonna slide this up here so we can do the base as well. And because I didn't put a whole lot of paint on here, I know it's also gonna dry really quickly. I'm going to put a little blue around the edge. If I get any on the mirror, remember, I'm just going to use like a dis disinfectant wipe or some Windex on a paper towel or a rag like this and really just get it off. All right. But I'm just putting a little bit of the rag over here so I can cover at least getting some of the splatters off. And you guys, you know, don't have to uh, look up my nose. So, you know, it's a win-win situation here. So yeah, it's been a busy day around here. Um, one of our neighbors, I listened all day to the sound of chainsaws. He cut down a giant tree that was between our property and his property. I don't know how old this tree was. I can only imagine how many years it took it, but it towered above both our houses. 
And uh, we've been getting some really crazy windstorms here lately, if you've heard me talk about that. And lots of rain, and we have flooding here. And uh, you even drive along the road. And this week we took a trip up to Erie, and I couldn't believe that I actually saw, like, big, beautiful trees completely overturned. Let me just turn you guys a little bit. Let's get that part down there. Completely overturned where you could see the base. The whole root system just pew, fell over. Crazy stuff. So he's uh, worried that, you know, with the ground so saturated and um, if there's a windstorm, he doesn't want it to fall on his house or our house. I love trees. I hate to see any tree get cut down, but, you know, it's, it's a safety issue. So he had a team, a crew come in today that do it can do it safely and take this you know giant tree down it was crazy they were you know i was watching the one guy because i was i swear to god like i was completely eye level with uh the tree cutter looking out my office window and i would peek out and see what he was up to and i'd hear these cracks and i'm like holy smokes what is that but i was watching him swing around in his little box that had controls on it and he would like chop it off and it would fall down and he was up high with a with a uh, chainsaw holy smokes he obviously knew what he was doing so yeah i've been working on a retailer program today it's hard to believe crazy to believe i am so honored and just feel so lucky that you know we we became a paint company by accident and little did i know that um the paint that me and matt designed together that people would fall in love with it too. So we're at a really cool time in our business where more and more people want to um, come on board and resell our paints. And so I know a lot of you guys watching would probably love to have Junk Monkey in your community. So that way you don't even have to wait to get it shipped to you. It's just like right there. Yay, I want to paint my mirror. All right, let me find somebody close to me and, and go out and grab my paint now. Because yeah, we get excited and we want our paint now to do our project. So working on that and um, got this coat on it. So now what I just have to do is let this dry and I'm going to go back to my computer and keep working. My goal is to, is to get it done before I go to bed tonight. The night is still young. It's after nine now for sure. But you know me, I'm a night owl. So I'll go make myself a cup of my favorite herbal tea and relax a little. Guys, isn't that beautiful? This is Liberty Blue. Like gorgeous color it feels so royal and now what we're gonna do let it dry and then of course when I see you whether I get to this tomorrow I get to the blue table tomorrow I'm also working on that black shelf that you saw me pick up uh, yesterday on yesterday's video free by the side of the road so tomorrow we'll continue the flip progress but I definitely encourage you that even if you don't have a lot of time on your hands just you know, get your project, set it out, go do one layer, go do what you got to do. And if you come back to it a day later, a couple days late, later, well, you know what? You let it naturally dry and just kind of, you know, set up the way it should properly do so. And then you're ready for the next step. It'll be there waiting for you. So this was fun. Got to go wash my brush. Gorgeous. I mean, do you even recognize it anymore? Maybe tomorrow I'll go ahead and work on the blue table too. I don't know. Between the mirror and the table, I want them to go up together. So tune back in and we'll see what, you know, beautiful, maybe metallic waxes we put on top of this and to seal it and to just make it all pop even more. So, so cool. All right, friends. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great night. Subscribe to my channel if you love my videos and you want to keep them or you want me to keep them coming. It lets me know that you love what I'm doing. Leave me a comment. Tell me where you're watching from and tell me are you too in love with Liberty Blue? All right, friends. See you tomorrow. Bye.